Dutch dust settled, you know the war's done. But we the last one standing, cause we the only ones, only ones. Yeah going on we back at you once again we want to encourage everybody listening on all platforms hit the like button and make sure that you share this video especially on youtube let's jump right into this we got a new news report that's coming out about the you know murder of tupac i'm gonna play that and then get into the backstory let's check it out let's go a las vegas television station is reporting an arrest is close in the murder of tupac Shakur. the rapper was killed in his car on a las vegas street 21 years ago Las Vegas police will only say the case is still an active homicide investigation. This potential break comes after a confession in a new documentary on BET where a former gang member claims he was in the car when Tupac was shot. So this report just recently actually just came out, you know, via uh, ABC7. And um, pretty much, if y'all didn't know, a former gang member who is actually the uncle, his name is Keith D, uh, Dwayne Keith Harris, um, has confessed of knowing who pulled the trigger the night that two Pac was killed. Now he goes on to say that, you know, I was a Compton Kingpin drug dealer. Um, I'm the only one alive who can really tell a story about Tupac's killing. Now um, he said, people have been pursuing me for 20 years. I'm coming out now because I have cancer and I have nothing else to lose. All I care about is the truth. Now, what do you think Sam and about this former, you know, gang member drug dealer coming out <clears throat> saying, or obviously related to the infamous Orlando Anderson saying he knows who killed Tupac and a news report saying that they might have an arrest pretty much imminent soon coming with Tupac. What do you think about this whole situation unfolding? Well, first off, Orlando Anderson, we all know he was alleged. He was um a Crip member, real rival Tupac's accord. He was the alleged shooter for years and years and years and years on time in Las Vegas PD. I mean, they, they did whatever they had to do. Long story short, there was a never a clear suspect put out for Tupac's murder. Orlando right. Anderson, we all know, in 98 was um, murdered. He was gunned down. So he ended up just being, I guess he was, karma hit him if he was the the um, the shooter of Tupac mm -hmm. Shakur. But nothing was ever really solved. Unfortunately, Mother Shakur had to go on and pass away without seeing a, a true suspect put out for her son's murder. And now we see that Keith D's come out. And if I'm not mistaken, what is not he under immunity when he came and said these statements? And that's why he had was under the confidence of saying it. When I, I read some things, of, um, apparently that he was under some type of immunity. And that's why he did the series Unsolved and why he came out so mm -hmm. so openly about it. He said that he had cancer and he had nothing else to lose. But I heard the backstory on that was he had um, some type of immunity and was safe in the regards of being arrested. And that's why he was saying what he was saying. Um, I believe the dude. I definitely do. It's mm -hmm. going to be hard to for anybody to feel bad for him in his state. I mean, may God rest his soul. But who who's going to feel bad for him knowing all this time who killed Tupac and saying absolutely nothing? Right. I mean, but it is a, it is a touchy situation, I will say, because it is it, it, if, if it was your nephew, because you came out and said it, I'm saying right here, um, Keith D taped confessions reportedly shows him revealing that it was his nephew, longtime suspect Orlando Anderson that pulled the trigger on that fateful night after the Cadillac rolled up alongside Tupac Shakur mm -hmm. and Shook Knight. I gave it to DeAndre Dre Smith and Dre was like, no, no, no. And then Lance was like, Pop the dudes, Keith D claimed in his confession. He leaned over and rolled down the window and popped him. Now, despite the nouns and the involvement in the shooting, Orlando Anderson was killed, like I said, in a gang shooting in 98. So basically, Keith D just said his nephew shot him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he waited all that time, and we understand why. Uh, do, would you, do you understand why he waited that time? What do you think about him waiting all this time and him attributing it to street code? I mean, that's the way it is in the street. I mean, people... You know, if you see something, you're not supposed to, you know, um, snitch, especially if you was like with it, you know, in the car with them or whatever, that'd be considered snitching. You know what I mean? Regardless of who it is, that's why he didn't do it. I mean, sure. You know I mean? said if he knew it, absolutely not. He wouldn't do it. But does that justify? Right. Does anyone feel like I'm not saying this? I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, my thing is like this. If you were in that street culture and that's the rules that you live by, whatever, that's that. But if you were a civilian, it should be separated. You know what I mean? Obviously. They was living that life. So I'm not saying that, I, you know, it's justified at all. You know what I mean? But he may, now he's coming forward saying, you know, he knows he's dying. It's his dying wish or whatever. So, you know what I mean? This is this is, this is is crazy right here, man. What do you what do you say about those to the people that would say, like, Tupac brought this on because he was just really living that lifestyle? He A lot of people and a lot of his mm -hmm. close people would say he would just talk death often. He was often just enamored mm -hmm. with death and just mm -hmm. it was always the energy that was kind of brought on to him. And then we all know that just a terrible result that happened mm -hmm. in, um, in Vegas. But 
Yeah. What, do you, what would you say about that? Like, well, um, if he kind of just lived a different life or kind of started staring toward the path that we've kind of seen mm -hmm. for him, everyone's seen, do you think that this would have happened? And it was then, a lot of people, you know, um, who did kind of allude to, you know, that it was more so a persona, this gangster persona. It's like he wasn't really like that. He was just trying to, I guess, just sell records. And I think that, not to say that it was a persona, he does come from a, like a revolutionary bloodline, you know, where that stuff can, you know, um, you know, occur. But, you know, I'm not going to say that he brought it on himself, you know, but obviously we know, I mean, at the time we were very young and all we can remember is, you know, the death type of, you know, the vibe type of song to him kind of, um, you know, uh, kind of getting comfortable and confronting the fact like in, I mean, he wrote a poem in the event of my demise, you know, yeah. things like that. And reading stuff like that is kind of like maybe he's warming up to it. Same with Biggie, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And other people that have died. So it was like, it's something eerie. Even people that I've known that passed away, it's kind of like they may know. I don't know, man. Real talk. It's like people may know when they when they're about to uh, meet, you know, that demise. Maybe it's a type of feeling and intuition. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, you you might have hit it right on the head. Time my bullets gon' block the sun. Black. 